Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, the pundits and pollsters have engaged in a lot of discussion about what is called the enthusiasm gap. That people are just not as enthusiastic about President Obama and the Democratic Party as the Republicans are. Uh, first of all, I haven't noticed a whole lot of enthusiasm about Mitt Romney. Uh, matter of fact, the Republicans bent themselves into pretzels trying to find somebody else, anybody else besides him. But there is some truth in the fact that, I mean, I'm not as enthusiastic about Obama as I was four years ago. That's why I started my YouTube campaign for president. A lot of things Obama has done have disappointed me. Uh, letting the DEA go after medical marijuana clinics, NDAA, uh, keeping Guantanamo Bay open, and trying to compromise with people who are not interested in helping the country move forward. So yeah, there's less enthusiasm this election. But what they haven't measured is the scared, shitless gap. If you've been paying attention to the modern day GOP, they should scare the shit out of you. You should be scared of their policies, their plans, and you be, should be scared shit of the people that are leading them. And you should be scared of the people that are behind them. All of those millionaires and billionaires who are putting so much money into the GOP are doing it because they want stuff. Sheldon Adelson, one of Mitt Romney's biggest funders, makes most of his money in China. It's a good bet that he's going to want to influence our policy towards that country. The Koch brothers are notorious for illegal dumping, so they want the EPA gutted. And many of the fat cats want to have the power to crush workers, to reduce wages and benefits so that they can make more money. And they want to pay less taxes on it too. And of course there's the Wall Street crowd who want to go back to the policies that led to the economic crash in the first place. See, the price for those policies wasn't paid on Wall Street. It was paid by everyone else, by the middle class and the poor. The rich, they got bonuses. And the plans the GOP have are pretty scary too. More tax cuts for the rich and the corporations, which will explode the deficit. See, every time the rich get a tax cut, the middle class lose jobs. Taking money out of the economy so that rich people can keep it in Swiss banks doesn't create jobs, it destroys them. The only reason we're subsidizing jobs sent overseas is because the Republicans are protecting those subsidies. But that's only their economic plans. The people who were advising Mitt Romney used to advise George W. Bush, and we all know how that went. And believe me, they really want to go to war again. It's possible that we may have to go to war in the future. That's true. But put those guys in charge, and it's inevitable. They'll revive the Bush torture program, and will return to the kind of foreign policy that alienated our allies and made us the laughingstock of the world. And look at the things that are happening all over the country in states the GOP controls. Raising taxes and fees on the middle class to pay for tax cuts for the rich. Taking away workers' rights and forcing women to have vaginal probes. And taking away the right of American citizens to vote. This is the foundation of democracy. If they're against that, then they're against democracy itself. So yes, there may be less enthusiasm for Obama 
and the Democrats. But there's not a lot of enthusiasm for Mitt Romney, believe me. And the pollsters never asked, how afraid are you of the extremism on the right? Believe me, if these people don't scare the shit out of you, they should. Thanks for listening.